Hi, it looks like the previous video about Kinesis was a hit. So here's another. So previously we created a Kinesis stream and a Lambda function that can consume records from that stream. In this video, on the other hand, I'll show you how to write a Lambda function which can produce messages to that stream. What do you need to know when creating a Kinesis producer? Well, a good start is to find out what's most important for you, throughput or latency. So why is that important? Because you need to decide if you want to send records to the Kinesis stream in larger or smaller chunks or batches. If you send larger batches, you will potentially get higher latency since your producer aggregates your records before sending them to the stream. But larger batches are a good thing for throughput since you reduce the number of network calls. Also, keep in mind that if you only have records aggregated in the memory of your producer application, you risk losing data if it crashes. Smaller batches, on the other hand, can reduce latency, but the trade-off is more network requests, which can reduce throughput and may be more expensive. Now, before we continue, I just want to thank you all for making it possible to reach 200 subscribers. It's now very close to one year since I published my first coding video, and it's been a very fun hobby creating these videos for you guys. I started this channel just so that I would have something to do while everything else was closed or cancelled due to COVID. But the engagement you all show for my videos and all the fun I have creating them has made me realize that this is something that I want to continue with even after Corona. So if you haven't yet subscribed and you find my videos interesting and want to learn more about serverless and AWS, please consider subscribing to my channel and smash that bell icon to get notified when I publish more content. Okay, back to today's topic. First, if you haven't watched the previous video, go ahead and do that, since we are going to reuse the same Kinesis stream we created there. So, in today's example, we will write a simple Kinesis producer using a Lambda function, where we just send records straight to Kinesis without aggregating them. This is mostly for simplicity, but also this means that we get low latency. Again, test what works best for your application. Since I'm going to reuse the existing Kinesis data stream, we can just go ahead and create the Lambda function. Go over to AWS Lambda, here I have, as before, just created an empty Lambda function, this time calling it Kinesis Producer, with a standard Lambda execution role attached to it. Now, let's write some code. First, import Boto3 and UUID, then create a Kinesis Boto3 client. Next, I'll define a response variable and use the Kinesis Boto3 client to call put underscore record. I'll use that method since I expect only a single record from the event object. If you expect more objects or want to aggregate them before sending them to Kinesis, you can use the put underscore records method and then send them all in a batch. Now we need to provide some parameters. First, the stream name. Here I'll write birds, since that's the name of our data stream. Next is data. This is where I'll put the event object. Keep in mind that the parameter has to be of type byte string or byte array. So I'll use the json.dumps method on the event object, which is a Python dictionary. Lastly, it's time for the partition key. Here I'll use the UUID library to create a new UUID for object, and then stringify it. A random partition key, which is what we have here, can give you low latency since records are distributed across all available shards. But the order of records is lost since records sent at a later point in time can potentially be read 
from one shard before the previous record is read from another. The same partition key will guarantee that all records are sent to the same shard. This way the order of records can be preserved. But this can again result in a hot shard or in other words the shard can be overloaded with records and reject new ones. I'll use UID for this example to get a random and uniform distribution of records across shards, since the order of records is not important for me. Lastly, I'll return the response object. But this is optional. You could also do nothing with the response object if no application depends on the response. Well, this is all for our producer application code. We now need to add policies that allow our function to send records to the Kinesis stream. Go over to IAM, find the IAM role and open it. Hit attach policy. For simplicity, I'll just add the Amazon Kinesis full access policy. Now go back to the AWS Lambda function, hit deploy and test. Now create a new test event object. I'll just paste in a JSON object which I have created beforehand. Now save this event and hit test again. And yay, the object got sent. We can see that from the response code over here. If you remember from the previous video, we created an application that consumes records from this data stream and stores it in a DynamoDB table. So let's go over to that DynamoDB table and see if the object is stored there. And yes, here it is. This means that we now have a functioning Kinesis producer application. In the next video, I'll see if I can do some cool stuff with Route 53 or another AWS service. I really do want to make a Route 53 video, but I haven't yet figured out what could be an interesting tutorial for that service. Anyways, until next time, happy coding!